So we're here at the water cube. Um, can you show us your badge? Do you have it around? There. There's your badge. Okay, and tell us about yourself. Yeah, I am Professor Rudrapan, teaching economics at the university for the last three decades. I have come here to learn techniques regarding water governance, particularly about the protection of groundwater. I have come from India where we have more than 1.2 billion population which poses enormous threats in terms of water security. Mm -hmm. Particularly this is uh, visible in urban areas which is a theme of our this uh, year's uh, World Water Week. Mm -hmm. So I will talk about the problems of urban areas in India. Okay. Particularly from Madras city where I hail from. In Madras city we don't have uh, any rivers worthwhile and we depend mainly on groundwater essentially. Okay. So it is essential for us to protect groundwater from pollution. Mm -hmm. And though we have many more industries in Madras city, Chennai, mm -hmm. and we have even enacted various laws and legislation to insist these industries not to pollute the groundwater sources. Mm -hmm. So we have been trying our level best. It is not possible for us to achieve success. Consequently, now we have got another method of using saline water, that is sea water. Mm -hmm. And with that sea water, now we are able to provide uh, some 10% of uh, water consumption of Madras city population. Okay. With this way, we are able to overcome the problem posed by water scarcity in Madras city. South India, that is India. Okay, that's yeah. great. And have you seen anything here that you find interesting? Yeah, I find very much, uh, very many interesting things, particularly in groundwater protection, mm -hmm. as well as I have learned technologies here how to pro how to uh, provide protection, okay. at the easiest, the cheapest method. And moreover, I have learned here many more things. For example, with the green water, the blue water, and the grey water also. Mm -hmm. And I have learned that we should not use uh, the blue water, that is fresh water, for raising crops. No. And we can use raise crops with the help of the grey as well as green water. Mm -hmm. The blue water is essentially could be used mainly for human consumption, mm -hmm. which is uh, an essential, which is essential for living yeah. beings. Naturally, I feel uh, I am benefited a lot by visiting this uh, Stockholm World Water Week and I thank the organizer, particularly this Executive Secretary Bernard Rahl and the other madam who is the other, who is the chief mm -hmm. for giving me this invitation okay. to, uh, to attend this uh, World Water Week uh, for the last uh, five days. Okay. I am immensely benefited. Thanks a lot uh, for the organizers. I thank you also for interviewing me. Oh, uh, thank you. It's been very good. Thanks. Yeah.